Yes, yes, yes. It's one of those days. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. One of those days. One of those days. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to you. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful day. Good evening, folks. Good evening to each and every one, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice. Good evening to you. I'm a beautiful woman. Good evening to you. It's so nice to be live once again. I'm, I've not been live in a long time. I just feel like it's been a forever that I've been live. Hi, Gina Brim. Good evening to you. And uh, Raquel, good evening to you. Prayer kid, big up yourself, prayer kid. All things, everything are going good. Blessings, blessings. Nayel Tafari, good evening, good evening, good evening. Good afternoon, rather. It's um 241 here in Miami big up yourself today I am I am I, I wanted to do so, uh, several things that's why I'm on I wanted to update you guys as to what I'm going with the meatless um, challenge now that's meatless challenge is over I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a um, <clears throat> report as to what was going on and how things end up pan out and everything and everything and I wanted to also make a quick dinner um, while I'm here now today I am not making a vegan dish but I'm making a vegetarian dish and you guys can modify it how you want to make it how you want I'm going quick and easy so I, I do hope that you guys will stick and stay as the uh, title of this video um, suggests I'm making mushroom with zucchini and I'm making it into an alfredo alfredo is basically a, 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 a milk based sauce but I'm not using milk we have long since removed the use of cow's milk plain cow's milk out of our diet so i'm not using um milk today all right gina we did enjoy it um the, the meatless thing and as a matter of fact the meatless thing was so good that i feel like i need to continue and so we are not officially but i will be incorporating a lot more um vegetarian dishes in my diet overall and <clears throat> Man, it's just just because me don't want to be a, a person where I come out fully hundred and declare, you know, like, oh, I'm a vegan. I'm not going to do that. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you that I am not going to be eating meat all willy-nilly. That's, that's the thing I want to tell you. The wife is not here. Hopefully, she comes before this video is, is done. But I, I need to say this, guys. You can follow her vlogs. Cause she's doing a vlogmas um um for, for christmas she's doing a vlogmas so you can follow her at um <clears throat> naturally here namics i'm gonna try to put it in the in the 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 chat right now natural or oh, natural here namics and guess what my wife was the first person to start uh, our her vlog and I, I followed suit right after that. So guys, if you want to support the wifey, you can go over there and just subscribe to her vlog at Natural Hair Namics. And that would be great, 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 great. But she's doing a vlogmas. And the vlogmas is going to be basically, you know, all about her hair journey and the, the natural thing. And, and you know, women, women thing. So... I know you guys will support that and will I am blue I'm beautiful says I got this Claudette Bailey good afternoon to you so guys I promise you this November has been one of the most challenging for me because guess what I decided to go without meat and and normally I I try to do a week or so and, and yeah we fall short but this November I stick and stayed and say no 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 we're not we now go out of, out of the way. You understand? Now, the challenge was to stay away from meat for the entire month. We had used the caveat of Thanksgiving Day to say we might break it on Thanksgiving Day and stuff like that. But Thanksgiving Day, I end up cooking some food and, and you saw the vlog. The vlog is there. If you have not yet watched my Thanksgiving Day vlog, please go and watch it. The Thanksgiving vlog, I cooked some food after I didn't want to cook no food. But 
I end up cooking some food and you know I, I, I must say I, I was proud of myself because I my challenge was do you are you gonna eat this food and, and mess up your, your 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 thing and to God be the glory I did not partake as I was normally would I did taste the turkey may I tell you the truth may I tell the truth I taste the turkey but it wasn't to say we, we end up having turkey and, and a big eating you know I did have quinoa salad and I did have rice and peas so I I, I may do. I made do and I had some I made some some quick vegetable and thing. P Leslie stop rush me no man stop rush me style. Just stop rush me Bridget. Because a long time me no come up on a life. Stop rush me style. It just a rush I so. Eh? Hurry up and go to the recipe in a star. Just cool man and stop rush I think. You understand? You understand me I say? You can that's why I'm glad to say I'm live enough. Cause I know you had a fast forward me long time if it wasn't live enough. Rush me thing star. You understand me I say? Just law my thing, you see? <laughs> um, <laughs> Akina the voice. Akina, you know, see somebody a rush me up on the thing, star. P. Leslie, a rush me, just a rush me, son. You understand? P. Leslie, me have some enforcers on the thing, you know. So, mine, mine, mine. Me just a tell us a mind. You understand? Just a rush, I so. Sure. Me cook and I make you see, you know. Yeah, don't ramp with me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Since since man a man a bad man a man a rush I. Let me just pan over to the vegetable them real quick. All right. So this is what we're gonna do today. All right. Web venture say I am outside. Big up yourself, member. Me tell you. <laughs> all right. So as the the, the the title suggests, we're doing some mushroom. I have a little bit of mushroom here because I don't know guys, I don't know about you, but I have a problem preserving mushroom. Every time I try to preserve mushroom in the fridge, them spoil. And I don't know why because it take too long to cook them. Anyway, I have some carrot cut up there and I'm just going to cut up these mushroom real quick. Yeah, I wash them and clean them up and this was what was left out of the entire batch. So what you want to know is you want to get some mushroom. How little or how much you get is up to you. Yeah, I'm using some baby bell of mushroom and that's why them look this color. If you want the white mushroom, the button mushroom, you can also get that at the store. Yeah, the baby bell of mushroom I think is a little bit more flavorful. And I normally use it when I'm trying to mimic um, meat in my preparations. All right. Thank you very much, Akina. The man says, stop rush the thing. You understand? Stop rush the thing. But for real though guys, this meatless journey, I mean, kudos to those who are not having meat in their diet, you know, but it, it is not a, a, a easy journey. And one of the things that I, one of the challenges that I, I, met, I ended up in was the fact that I ended up having to, I ended up having to, to watch my, my carbs intake because guess what? I end up start I consume way more carbs than I needed to. You understand? And that was another um coming out of the meatless diet. You end up I consume too much carbs. Yeah. So I had to I had to really and truly be careful of that. And then the other thing is, you know, those for the persons who are transitioning to veganism or vegetarianism, you have to be wary of those um over the counter products. That's a meatless because guess what? Enough of them products there is cyanine. And you can't end up, you can't end up over consume now the whole of side. You see me as it? So that's the next the next downside to doing the the, the vegan thing. Alright. So I have the I have the carrot and the mushroom in my kitchen pan. I'm just gonna cut up the zucchini now. All right, and uh, you need, for this you need a, a, a small zucchini, we now overdo the thing. All right. And I didn't show you everything that I'm using. I, I use some um, some of this uh, tricolor pasta, yeah, um, rotini. I'm using some scallion, a little bit of um, onion right there, a little garlic. This is an interesting choice of, of, of product to use. This is um, broccoli stems. I'm using some zucchini, all right? So I'm going to show you exactly how I manipulate these things. The zucchini has been washed. 
and so we're just going to slice it up i'm also using um a cream of mushroom now the cream of mushroom i must admit it does have milk product in it but yeah me go on the simpler side today and i'm showing you a quick and easy way to use this dish all right so don't don't come for me if you guys wanted you can also use um coconut milk but let me show you one of the next problem now you don't want that be can overly coconut milk some some vegans and some vegetarians are be a coconut milk in that thing you understand me i say and so i was trying to avoid the use of that for, for, for the hundred percent so i'm using the cream of mushroom Tanya Johnson, how you do girl? Big up yourself, big up yourself. I love that my folks are all from, well, most of my folks are from Florida. If you're not from Florida, let me know where you're from right now, please. Aside from um, P. Leslie who rushed me a while ago. Because P. Leslie wants to see the recipe. Good afternoon. Good sweet, evening. Right? Why are you shouting in the camera? Hi. Hey, why are you shouting in my camera? Turn the camera around and, and say good evening properly. Let the people then see you. Why? Go ahead. I just promoted your Ain't thing. Nobody so. wanna see me. Say good evening now. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening, guys. I mean one P Leslie come around. I say <laughs> for the food the something for the food. <laughs> P Leslie. Don't come for my husband. I will come for you. Don't come for him. <laughs> hi guys. Hi. So Indiana we're just gonna Police. cut up this thing. From the Cincinnati, Ohio, Nile, 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 right? Yeah. Big up yourself, Cincinnati, Ohio. Now this is a very, very good um weekday meal and you can also have this if you want to subsidize it with meat you can have it with meat if you don't want to have it with meat it is still good you understand and that's one of the things that i, I also learn about doing this um vegan vegetarian challenge is that you, you really don't need meat as much as you think you do um i've learned how to survive and enjoy a, a very good meal without having to eat excessive amount of meat all right i must say that it physically i feel a lot better than before i think i may have come down a little bit in my a1c i saw the word is right a1c right and i think i might have lost maybe a belt size you know but yeah also, the fact is that I've not been eating as much as I normally do. I've minimized the amount of eating totally. Yeah. All right. So the last thing I have to cut up now is my garlic. And I did this Jupiter Cosmic. Big up yourself. Yes. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So I do hope that you all enjoyed your holiday season. If you're living in a, in a location that celebrates Thanksgiving. I do hope that you all enjoyed it. You can strain that for me, please, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, looking forward to the Christmas season. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then we, we still get some time off. I do hope that you enjoy some form of time off, some rest and relaxation. All right? And I'm just saying this because I know that some people work hard the whole year and they need them little time off. They need it. Yes, they need it in their life. Yeah, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All right. So, here we are going on with this now. All right, that sounds good. That looks good. Now, as I was talking to you earlier about the, the broccoli, Alright. Yeah. So the broccoli stems, we usually throw away the broccoli stems. And I'm telling you guys that the broccoli stems don't have to be thrown out. You can just peel off the broccoli stems out of back, like what I'm doing right here. See that? 
Look at that. Look at that. Donna Daly, big up yourself, girl. Look at that. Peel off the outer bark of the broccoli stems and slice up the, the middle part of it and use it. Yeah, you can saute this down without some, some salt fish. Because nowadays you can't dash your things, you know. And nobody has no time for waste and dash your things. Look at that. Look at that. Coffee's kitchen, big up yourself. Coffee come in like a rapture and everybody get captured. Hello, Joshua. All right, so you just basically want to peel it off and look at it. When you peel it off, it come, it, it, it end up very soft. Very soft and nice. Yeah, and this not only adds color, but vital nutrients to your meal. So it's not just broccoli florets alone you can eat. You can eat the stems too. Have you ever tried zucchini steaks or use zucchini in place of bread on a sandwich? Try. I have not yet done that, but I promise you I will make some zucchini steaks and do a zucchini sandwich. I promise you. So the zucchini is the bread? No, the zucchini is the meat. Oh, I you said of the bread. No. He said try it between two pieces of bread. Oh, in place of a bread. Sorry. In place of the zucchini is the bread. But that sandwich they have got to eat with fork. Don't it be? Mm -hmm. Then oh you have to pick up the zucchini. It's not going to wait near there. It's not going to tough. No. It's not going to sauce, sorry. And so I have I had gone ahead and peel off a um, couple more of these stems. So I just have to finish it up right there. So. I want to add for people because it's so um, branchy, branchy, but it'll work. Any which way it go, it'll go into the pot. Eh? No, you too mean, you too craving. All right, and then have a couple leaves of the broccoli leaves. Me just have to add them to the pot like kale. Yeah man, I don't me play no man, I don't play, I don't play, I don't play, I try to tell you no. You have to understand what I say, I don't play. You smell that? Mm. I say guys, I want me go and look up, a little oh, sneak peek of my brew. Yeah man, I have a little brew going on, you see man, and it's very brewish. That smells good. Alright, so now, you have to go, you have to go, Becky, what, what is this? All right, so guys, now you want to. I, I, I had gone ahead and I had put some of the, the um, rotini in water. I had made two cups of rotini, zucchini, lasagna. You ever try that? No, Sam. Yes, you try. You just about some funny things, them, so. You understand? You just have boss me from the things them so but I have the lasagna. Um I have the lasagna uh noodles and so we can use it when we're ready to do a thing. Remember me tell you. Alright, for this because I want this to um sort of taste more Italianish than anything else, I'm gonna add some um rosemary to the dish, right? Fresh rosemary. All right, and so yes, I, as I said before, I'd gone ahead and put some of this in water, and it has been boiling, and it don't boil, and the wife is draining for me, and so we over the side here now. I'm cooker brother. I think Troy is trying to say he's a cook. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a cooker brother. That's oh. what Troy say. He is a cooker. Brother, all right. So, let me. Am I using my wide angle lens or not? Yes, I'm using my wide angle lens. So now I'm using my um, zoom lens. 
all right so everything here is already prep and set try says yes he is a cook awesome awesome try big up yourself on that so we like so when the man them jump up and do things because there, there's a slight difference all right so to this i add two uh, maybe three teaspoon uh, tablespoon of olive oil and the wifey always tell me say make the pot get hot first so i to add one one carrot and, and you tell me when it get hot so how have you been feeling see you want to talk to them about how you've been feeling um you know um during the, the 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 months that you have been without meat um i don't know if i feel different i haven't been taking note of how i feel but mm -hmm. i know that my waistline has got smaller and you know we like the small waistline you know <laughs> yes we have to see your waist mm -mm. <laughs> i don't remember what else happened to me all right that's it Guys, should they eat coconut drops? And and she's not supposed to eat it. Coconut drops, a carrot. Oh, but you must see coconut drops. Mm -hmm. well. I took it up to eat it, but then I saw a healthier option and I went with the healthier option. Ray, 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 ray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy your page. Very creative, and I love that it's family based. Thank you so much, Try. And Try, if you if you try any other things that we may do for my page, please just tag me in on them. So that we can repost it and make people know say yeah yeah the belly is doing something um creative and, and nice in the community so please if you guys try any of my dishes just tag me in them so that you know we can repost it um i am on facebook i am on instagram i am on youtube i'm on twitter and i'm on all of the other social media sites yeah you fresh and less heavy and in most cases it's not easy to anger <laughs> <laughs> try me can't bother with the angry thing yeah man because sometimes people it, it is a difficult thing because sometimes people throw some things for you but you have to just bear it and and understand say you put yourself out there as an internet um um person when you once you touch the internet that is public domain so you have to deal with different temperaments you know, and everybody come with them softy, softy behavior. Some people are rough. Sometimes I'm talking about Jesus and some people cuss me and say, no, talk about no Jesus. You know, sometimes I'm cooking the food and some people say, I'm a donkey, I'm a jackass. People, you, you don't want to hear some of the comments them, where people comment on your thing. Them, them blaze you. Oh my God. The thing is not me. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm adding my three main ingredients to my pot right now. Turn up the heat a little bit. And you just want to saute these, you know, till them get to al dente. Now I'm gonna try to put everything that I'm using in the in, in the um, description box after the video. So give me up to 24 hours to add these the, the, the information to you guys. Um, bear with me. But yeah, so you want to saute this real quick and then you're gonna try to start seasoning them up. What is this called? I'm late. It's called zucchini mushroom alfredo. Okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of cumin. To give it that meat vibe? Yeah, to not? give it a little meaty vibe. Okay. And this is an ingredient that I always recommend that most people don't use, garam masala. And garam masala is an Indian blend. Hold on, back up. This is an ingredient that you recommend that most people don't use? Yes. That's I recommend it, but most, most especially <laughs> Jamaicans, most Jamaicans don't use it. Okay. You understand? It's called garam masala. And it's, it's made by Badia, so you can find it on your grocery shelves. Mm -hmm. But it really does change the complexities um, of the, the dish, yeah? And make it nice, trust me. And I, I don't want this to cook out too long, so I'm gonna start adding my other ingredients. Let 
garlic garlic you guys garlic is very important very vital to any dish vegetable or meat alike yeah let's turn it down a little bit i don't want nothing to burn Yeah, and the reason why I'm doing that, I want it to move the, some of the liquid to just evaporate out. Mm -hmm. Adding my rosemary. Rosemary. Smell nice, don't? Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving, you guys. Ours was small and fun, right? Yeah. It was fun. Broccoli stem. Try set to try zucchini pasta. I think we did that one time with the spaghetti. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, the, the little spiral grinder thingy. Zucchini pasta and ground chicken. Next time you mix spaghetti. Mmm. Mmm. Garlic is essential also for chasing the terrible vampire death. <laughs> Tanya, why not stop this? Tanya. <laughs> yeah, must be heavy now. Yes, it's true, Tanya. Vampire be gone. <laughs> I had to. LOL, I eat subtle. <laughs> Alright, coffee. Trust me. We never eat subtle, but. But we eat. We eat little things. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add my pasta now. And guys, you would not believe how quick and easy this dish is. Listen, unhappy like miserable people love company. Not everyone or thing should touch your spirit. Through that, through that try. Are you adding any oil? Yeah, we did add oil. You know which one I'm trying dying to try the gumbo. You made some nice gumbo. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so this is the mushroom soup. sauce. The cream of mushroom soup. Okay. Guys, that's a hack in it. This is a hack. You guys are not running with Nobody this hack. hacking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to make the mushroom sauce from scratch. Just go get yourself a can of Campbell's or any. Yeah, and because because I'm using the Campbell's, you notice I did not add any water. Mm -hmm. uh, any any salt, rather. Oh, okay. You know? And I didn't add any water either because I don't want it soupy. I want it saucy. Saucy. Hey. Look at that. How that look big? Mm-hmm. We like one pot meals. You're not sorry for on. Easy to cook, easy to eat, easy to clean up. Boom. Boom. And I also I'm gonna add a little bit of my blender bella. Mm -hmm. And this is mushroom guys. This is one of the really, really good um bottled products out there. It is not a must, but I'm adding it because I have it. And it's just mushroom and peppers. Trust me. It's so good, you guys. You can have it on bruschetta. You can have it with on, pasta. Yeah, with pasta on top of pizza dough. Amazing. And it should be at your local Publix if you have one. Or you can check any grocery store. And that is it right there. Mm -hmm. I'm adding in all of my scallions and garl and to an onion. You're making me feel guilty. I have a pig and a chicken in my fridge. <laughs> I confess, <laughs> not, not daily. <laughs> we have meat in my fridge too, but we just not eat it today. <laughs> or tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Or the next day. You're not supposed to buy the thing to freeze. Sure. <laughs> Listen, you try one of my creations, I will try one of yours. Yellow zucchini muffins with brown sugar. Oh my god, that should be good. That sounds like my wife something though. Zucchini? Like that. Hold on, go. I need a recipe. Do you have a channel? We need a recipe. Try, you have a channel, give me a channel. Yeah. Me, me. We taste zucchini muffins already from Whole Food. Yeah. And it was amazing. I would love to try making it. 
and the last the last thing I'm gonna add is just some spinach and I'm just adding the spinach just for just sake just for... as we have the spinach and we're gonna eat them yes guys so for those who are just joining because I see a couple people joining this is our zucchini mushroom alfredo alfredo using penny pasta medley using rotini rotini pasta medley and topped with some spinach not topped mixed with some spinach that looks so colorful and delicious yes thanks janice it is colorful and delicious and guys, as I said, if you have a piece of chicken, if, you, if you're not vegetarian and you have a piece of chicken, this goes well with it. If yes. not, it's a great, great, great dish on its own. You know what would be good in there? Shrimp. Shrimp. Those carrots are reminding me of shrimp right now. That's the thing, you know, I don't think one month is enough for you to wean off of meat. If you really want to permanently wean off of meat, because... I'm not permanently trying to wean off of nothing. Right. I'm just but, trying to be healthier. I'm just trying to assess if my meat desire has faded, reduced any at all. Because I have the willpower to not eat it, but I, I feel the desire to eat it. <laughs> Here you know. <laughs> Come. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, that look good. That smell good. How much weight does it look good and smell good? It look good and smell good. It look so the good. only one now. It smell good. Just a taste. <laughs> we need to figure out. Friends say um Ravenak. Rev Ravenak. Good evening to you. Good evening to you. Yeah. Cardi Belly specialty. Vegan. Well, vegetarian. Zucchini and mushroom. Rotini. Why you keep saying oh? Is that rotini? Yeah, it's rotini. Rotini. Uh, rotini. But learn easy. It's yeah. not tough. <laughs> rotini. What is this? Like um a uh, casserole? Come That's the way to go, you guys. Leave out the meat permanently. <laughs> Clive, we're working on it. And the very last thing that I'm going to do to this one is I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. A little Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little Parmesan cheese. As I said, this one is not vegan. This one is vegetarian. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, pass the black pepper for me, please. And that's it, guys. That's a quick one. Yeah. I do hope that you like it. And that you will stick and stay yes i have something that i want to drop and that video will be up soon but i can't boss it yeah it's a secret <laughs> 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 but i'm gonna give you a sneak peek. what is the secret <laughs> <laughs> you are so <sighs> stupid <laughs> coffee how that look it look good all right watch i know guys watch i know you see that part here yeah? Tan ta ta Tan ta ta All right, no more, 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 no more. Wow, you smell that? I Ooh, think it's normal, but it's not normal. <laughs> it might look like the normal thing, but I have to stick and stay for the video because this one is not normal. <laughs> I'm getting you a set of wooden spoons for Christmas, Master Chef. Thank you, Troy. Respect, try. <laughs> Respect, because this plastic now I work on, right? <laughs> Trust me. But yeah, man, see there? Watch it. And this one, look. See, grab a plate, no man, and, and, and come sample the mm -hmm. thing. Mm hmm. 
you have a page on YouTube and Facebook called Auntie's Kitchen. All right. Okay, so make a search you out, Auntie's Kitchen. And I will definitely subscribe to your Facebook page, Auntie's Kitchen. I'm just taking my food in. Okay. Yeah, just take it. Guys, make a try make sure you eat some food on camera, you know? Yeah, man. Always watch when I'm hungry. <laughs> Coffee says she always watching when she's hungry. Watch, man. Lord of mercy. See the wife plate there? Lord of mercy. The wife will take out the fire plate and she's gone to the the, the, the wet name there, to the races. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Big up, big up yourself. Now look for auntie's kitchen right now. So what uncle kitchen? Only auntie's kitchen you're looking for. Huh? What does this mean? Like? Auntie's kitchen is this um in New Sir Smyrna Beef Beach, Florida, in Troy. Are you the one in New um Smyrna Beach or no is a group let me see what is your what is your um what is your which one of these is you in try second one the first one which one of these is you um is that this one the group or is it the top one that says auntie's kitchen and soul food let me know please all right yeah man or is the auntie's kitchen that has a trinidadian flag that says pig feet today i don't want you i don't know which one see it here is this one yeah man in auntie's kitchen auntie's kitchen that's so much tallahassee auntie's kitchen i will if i auntie's kitchen they find me something my girl oh it is so good for real for real you're not kidding nice and creamy mm -hmm. flavorful mm -hmm. and i like the fact that the veggies are not soggy they're crunchy a little crushed red pepper and parmesan cheese mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm currently on a cleanse and this is making me want to quit delicious chosen seed of israel this is an awesome awesome dish and, and as you see there's no meat involved this is um it's vegetarian yeah and the only thing that made it vegetarian is the fact that i use the cream of mushroom soup that does carry a little bit of dairy and the parmesan cheese mm -hmm. but otherwise it's vegetarian and so it's very it's roughly safe if you need to try something new it's roughly safe and the, as the wife is showing you over there it is awesome and delicious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah man that's what the thing said but big up on yourself guys manners and respect to each and every one of you we are coming live tomorrow morning we missed last week because it was thanksgiving day but tomorrow morning we will be live with another breakfast live and i do hope it's just between 10 o'clock 9 and 10 it's not roughly 10 o'clock we're gonna start and i do hope that you will stick and stay for that one please go over and subscribe to the wifey's page at natural ear namics because her christmas vlogmas is going on nice 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 and of course her vlogmas has a whole bunch of other um information don't forget the lime or the lemon try says you could put lime or lemon in it you could sprinkle it with lime and lemon mm -hmm. it is of that nature tanya johnson the thanksgiving video was nice and uh, Janice Jones say, I yeah, enjoy the result though. In Janice, she have gone bad over there. Watch it, Janice, me not sure her face no more. Ah. I'm tired. I'm tired for sure face. But look how the food I get consummated. <laughs> yeah, that word there. Eh? Consumed? <laughs> I'm marriage. I'm marriage. The food is getting <laughs> consumption. I mean, consumed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's uh... Joshua, come for your dinner. <sighs> Joshua, come for your dinner. Come get your dinner, bye. Come for your dinner. It's perfectly salted, so you cannot, guys, use any seasonings with 
Because I'm using salt. the soup and I know the condensed soup naturally. Um, them normally put whole heap um, salt in the condensed soup. Mm -hmm. Try says culinary masterpiece of art. Try drop the link to your Facebook in the in the description box, please, so that people can just click on the link and go to your Facebook, um, so that we can support you. We support who support we, yeah. Um, chosen seed of Israel said her son's name is Joshua. That means you are otherwise known as none, right? Chosen mm -hmm. seed of Israel. <laughs> Uh, Joshua is the son of none. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey Thomas, Auntie Cindy, good afternoon to you. That looks so yummy. Now watch the face. Now give no check whether you get negative comments. There are many that are with you than those who are against your cooking is in your blood. Of course, you know that, Auntie Cindy. You know that. You know that. And Georgia is in the house. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm not Georgia, Auntie Cindy there. Carolina. North Carolina is in the house. Hey, North Carolina is in the house. Mm. And the rest of the place up there. Yeah. Uh, um, um, let me see. Blessings, try. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Understood, understood 100%. And remember, guys, yeah, tomorrow at around 10 o'clock, we will be live again for breakfast live when we spend some time in the kitchen and in the word yes 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 just a page neither one <laughs> um because oh georgia and since and since the georgia uh big up yourself try okay. big up yourself. it's our 100 alfredo with mushrooms and zucchini and it is an awesome awesome dish and we do thank you for participating as a, you, you were gonna go live this evening or you're not going live this evening when we fix up the house weren't we gonna christmas size the house a little bit maybe mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. so keep your notification bell on guys just in case something go down yeah top one with the fish dish <laughs> huh? Uh, oh, the top one with the fish dish. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm going to definitely um, go back on it and get and sign in to your, to your, um, um, let me see. I'm going to find it. Auntie's kitchen. And it's the top one with the fish. Is that the one that says public group? 20, 122 members is that the one um sir i'm i'm trying to um you see the fish i'm trying to find them oh yes believe watch i should go back for more who says what kind of craven beef it is oh you know i went back for more the plate look fuller <laughs> craven beef here yeah. hmm Stop. I'm f I'm showing it. I'm shooting on you. You're looking so beautiful. Stop. Yes, you look very, very beautiful and craven. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh uh, boy. Oh uh, boy. No, Auntie's kitchen. Um trying to find it. I'm not finding it. Trying to find it. I'm not finding it. Mm -hmm. I'm to find it. Mm -hmm. I'm not finding it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today. We just spent 45 minutes looking about this beautiful meal. I'm going to let you guys run now, and I'm going to run also. But please remember to like, share, subscribe. If it's the first time that you're watching Yardy Belly TV, we do appreciate you pay, uh, your patronage of my channel. And I do hope that you will hit the subscribe button and the like button. And also that you will share it with your friends and your family. Once again, Yardy Belly TV, we go by the mantra, live and laugh, cook and eat. Now yes. Yardy Belly gets to 50,000 by... The end of December. Yeah, we're hunting to go to 50,000 subscribers by the end of December. We are at 45,000. And so, guys, remember to like, to like, to like, to like, to like, 
and also to share. Sure, to share. More food coming, vegan food, vegetarian food, healthy alternatives, and we are getting more and more creative as the day goes by. I do hope that you will join me as we do what we do. Once again, big up on herself. Remember, Tonya Hanna make fashion. You understand? That's how the way to live nowadays. Tonya Han and make fashion. Have a good day. Good evening to you all. Be blessed.